Hey everybody, welcome to Vintage Pokemon Hunter Brothers. And today's episode, I'm going to show you like some of the things I have around my studio um, that you might have seen before in other videos. And I'm going to show you how much they cost because I love vintage stuff. Of course, Vintage Pokemon Hunter Bros. But I also love my money. This is the starter gift box that's sealed um, if you wanted to find them on eBay right now. I believe it's going to be like upwards of $300. So... <laughs> I was selling some things and I and, you know I had some money to spend and I was like should I get one of these um sealed it's really really cool like in here in a sealed one or one that hasn't been opened you would find a jungle theme deck uh the original starter deck and a jungle booster pack so that's like that's really awesome I'll open it up there's none of that in here so like you'd imagine the theme deck itself will probably go for like 60 80 bucks the the jungle booster pack probably goes for about a hundred and the theme decks now I believe are like close to like a hundred dollars if not over those are all just like from things that I saw months ago which I know the prices have been just been crazy but yeah look at this one we have this in there that's cool that gives me the nostalgia feeling and even if I did buy this and it was gonna be like the sealed one I don't think I would have ever opened it. So just like having this box to give me the thing. Looks like it probably had a coin. I'd imagine the starter deck would be right there. Theme deck, booster pack. I've seen a few of these opened up on channels before. Let me check behind here just to see if there's any. What if there was like a booster pack back there? But yeah, just the box alone. It has that Pikachu. It has that starter deck. That wasn't me. That was the box closing. <laughs> it, has that, it has that nostalgia feel right there. And it's just that awesome like collectible and display piece that, that I wanted. And this box itself, um, with the shipping, so I had to pay for the shipping, I think it came up to like $10. So like, that's not bad. Boom, vintage on a budget. All right, something else that you might have seen behind are like, is this like blue version. And I have it put in this plastic protective case. And it's really cool. You, you have those guys right there. But this is an empty box. And this isn't just an empty box. This is actually... This is actually a reproduction of the original one. So I want to say this was like three bucks when I found it. I don't know if you can, like I found this one on eBay. Yeah, I believe I found this on eBay and it was like under $5. So I was like, let me just buy that. So you can tell it's a reproduction. I believe it was Retro Giraffe or Emilio Saki was going through his collection, was showing how you can tell the difference. So this yellow version and this blue version, the reproductions, and you can see that slit in the middle of the box. That's one way you can tell it's a reproduction. And this red version is the real thing. It doesn't have that slit. It folds in up in the top right there. So this is a real one. It's also empty. It has like the booklet inside and it had the game inside, but it was used. And I was like, that's really cool. And it still gives me that awesome feeling. Reminds me of when I saw these in Toys R Us or um, Target. And I, I picked my first one out at Toys R Us. So yeah, I just put the little plastic, oh, I'm sorry, Mew. Just put the little plastic covering over it. And yeah, you can get those for like, I'll put the price on like how much, I'll see if I could find one right now and just put the price up. But that's just another one of those things that just gives you that nostalgia feeling. We're gonna use, that's gonna be the word of the day today. Is <laughs> nostalgia, we're gonna use that a lot. Today's secret word is nostalgia. Now. You all remember what to do whenever anyone says a secret word, right? Scream! It just gives you that feeling, and it doesn't cost, you know, $100. Um, here's another thing that I've given, I have I gave out. It's the, the Southern Island collection. This is something that came out around, I believe, like the first movie. It says 12 bucks, and I want to say you can probably still find them for around $12. So that's really awesome, unless it's the one with the Mew, which the Mew one's really awesome. I believe this one might be going for around 20. I'll put the price. Um, I'll put a price for, for something like this um, around right now. But yeah, these are the Japanese ones. This is sealed. This is sealed vintage product. This is Gen 1. Well, I guess there's some Gen 2 with the Slow King and there's a Meryl. That's Gen 1, Gen 2, awesome stuff. Here's some more Gen 2 stuff. I did a whole thing about this before. I'll show it right here probably some green screen and in, uh, interference but this is the neo Pokemon collection thing this is sealed and these are also going for not that much money and it's another awesome display piece that's just not that much okay now I I made a couple of videos I never knew how to quite um, create something that I enjoy because I always try to make sure that any video that I put out is something that I'm proud of and that I uh, that, that, I, that I would enjoy myself. So I tried to make a couple videos with these. 
and I um I never really liked him because I like I went through him. I thought it was too much. But I'll just give a, a brief overflow, overflow o- overview. <laughs> so so yeah, this right here, this is Jungle Fever. This is a Duelist magazine. So this is just like just throws you back back to when when was this in? I don't know. But look at that. You got Star Wars Episode One on there. I believe that had to have been like ninety nine. Yeah, and then this one, I did a video, oh my goodness, because there's supposed to be a Stamp Pikachu inside. Stamp Pikachu was not inside here, so I was really bummed about that. And I did a video that was never released where I looked to see if the Stamp Pikachu was left in there, but this is where it would be. No go, no Stamp Pikachu. So that's kind of a bummer. But this is still just an awesome piece, and it wasn't that much. And this is just another awesome display piece that you can have in your little... Pokemon room. Here's another one. Really small little uh, Gotta Catch Em All, Nintendo Power, with that art, with the Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle. It just looks so awesome. And I'm sure all of these, none of them really cost too much. Let me lift this up a little bit so we can see some more. Yeah, none of them really cost too much. And it just it just looks really awesome. And, and the other reason why I'm going through all these is I'm thinking of changing up the office space. I don't know if I'm going to keep the green screen or not. We'll see. But I want to really display a lot of this stuff. And I just wanted to show you that none of this stuff is really that expensive, at least not right now. And I don't expect these things to go up too, too much. But yeah, oh, this is one of my this is one of my new favorites. This is the Time magazine. Like I remember this is the image that I saw in the news when people were like, Pokemon's taking over the elementary schools, or Pokemon's the devil. The churches were going against Pokemon. They were like, they're teaching your your kids bad things and and such and such. And there's some really funny things. I'm thinking about making a video about just some of the crazy things that came out during like the whole Pokemon craze in 99, 98. But yeah, this this really just makes me think about all that. I love this Time magazine. Just in the middle of the craze. That's so cool. And it wasn't a whole bunch of money. This is another thing. It's like something I totally forgot about until I saw it on eBay. And I was like, <gasps> like kid me spent so much time just like going through this book let's see if anybody else remembers it bam pokemon official nintendo player's guide when you had that blue or red version this is what you had i didn't have the internet back then to go through and to see like where are all the hms located where are all the tms located like what's this where's that so you'd go over to target or whatever and you'd be like there's a pokemon official nintendo guide mom dad can i please have it and oh so cool shows you where the legendary birds shows you everything and it's just something really cool to just go through again and just like relive all that stuff and all the art it's so beautiful and there's a bunch of stickers in here too this one doesn't have all the stickers but it has some of the cool ones look at we got jolteon we got flareon scyther kabutops dragonite they left the dragonite and the growlith and the charmander for us charmander you think that would be like one of the first ones to go right but I still have those stickers. Don't know what to do with them. Hmm. But yeah, and then all the stats and stuff with the Pokemon with the art. It's just such a cool blast. Blast from the past. All right. So yeah, that's another little thing. I'll put the price on there if, if of mine or not. An, if not another one. Oh, yeah, this isn't Pokemon related. I don't know why I had this on here. But yeah, here's this amazing fantasy Spider-Man. This was like the um the first the first um artwork for the Spider-Man. But if you look on the top. This is the reprinted exclusively for Old Navy. I got this like a few years ago for a couple bucks. But I was like, yeah, that's a cool display piece. Just another like cool display pieces that don't cost $20,000. Maybe I'll have those, one of those someday, but not anytime soon. Um, yeah, and it's and it's out there. You can find these, these things, um, you know, eBay, Amazon, all those other sites. You just need to know what to look for. Or if you're bored, you can just go through and just see what you find. And these are some of the things that I found. And these are some of the things that I might have in a new um, studio coming soon, possibly. Well, thank you guys all so much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting. I love all your comments. If you're new here, welcome. Um, if you subscribe, you'll make me happy. If you hit the like button, it evolves blue. That's taken from Grant from Seismic Shock TV. Um, yeah, I do uh, Pokemon openings. I do... Pokemon card reviews. I do. I just try to hit everything Pokemon. Just try to have fun. And uh, and yeah, just try to have fun and have it Pokemon related for you guys. All right. Y'all have a great day. Bye. Vintage Pokemon Hunter Bros.
will be super famous. And if you disagree, I am disappointed. <laughs>